Okay, so in this video, I want to share a comparison between the new Pixie Set Studio Manager and HoneyBook CRM. I want to say right off the bat, I don't think this is a fair comparison. I know a lot of people are asking between the two, so that's why I'm doing a comparison, but I do not believe this is a fair comparison. They are meant for two different um, audiences and the other thing is that the Pixie Set Studio Manager just came out and there are some features that they are coming out with, I assume fairly soon, that um, HoneyBook already has that Pixie Set is probably coming out with, um, but just doesn't have them up yet. So um, please keep those things in mind while I share this comparison, but I do want to show you a behind the scenes of both options so that you can see, I think you'll be able to see very quickly um, which one is right for your business. I also think the other thing that's important to keep in mind is that whichever option you choose, you should be able to grow into it. So um, for instance, Pixie Set Studio Manager might be all you need right now. It might be perfect for you right now, but where your business is going to be in three to five years, you know, is it still going to work for you then? And obviously they'll probably come out with new features between now and then, but can you plan on that, um, that kind of thing? keep in mind that it's very um, time consuming to switch all your clients, all your contracts, your questionnaires, everything over to a new system if you if you outgrow the system you have. Um, so, and I know I sound really biased. I have been using HoneyBook for years. Um, I love it very much. Um, even HoneyBook still doesn't do everything that I wish it did, um, but it's definitely, um, it works really well for my business. And it has grown with my business as I've grown. So let's take a look here. Um, so this is Pixie Sets Studio Manager. Obviously I haven't set anything at all up. I just um, quick created an account to show you. And then this is HoneyBook. Um, this is not my HoneyBook company. I created a demonstration version um, specifically for this purpose. Um, so just know that this is not my actual HoneyBook. Um, this is just a test version, um, but you can see here shows you kind of a dashboard. Um, one big difference between the two that I see right away is HoneyBook functions off projects, okay? So each client would be a project, each family session would be a project. In Pixie Set, they call them clients, which I actually think I kind of like, um, but they really function the same way. So you can create a new client um, with their information, additional info, you can put quite a bit of information in here, Let's just say that this is, you know, whoever. There's already a sample client in there. I don't need to do anything with that. But what I do really like is that you can click on the client here and you can see right at the outset um, how much money they owe, um, if there's a contract, if there's a payment. Um, I really like that it shows the invoices right there. Um, with HoneyBook, you don't actually get that. So when you click here, so you have activity, this is um, your emails, files. So you have to click over the different tabs um, to see the same information. This just has it all right here. So similar information, different tabs. All right, now one thing that HoneyBook has that Pixie Set does not is this activity section where you can actually send an email and it looks like it's coming from your Gmail and it will actually show up in your Gmail or your email, sorry, I use Gmail. I don't see an option for this here. I don't entirely know how that would work. It doesn't look like you can send a message per se. Um, you can create an invoice, which is handy, and you can put a note, but you cannot send them just an email. What's nice about HoneyBook is that it keeps all your clients in one place and you can respond back and forth to your clients without going back to your email inbox, which is really huge because you know your e email inbox can get clogged with all kinds of non-client related emails um, whereas this, you know, it's separated out by client. You can see the whole thread. It's right in there. I am totally talking with my hands and I know this is a screen video and you can't even see my hands. Um, so I'm laughing at myself over here. Okay. So that is one big difference I see right away is you can't really email clients through 
um, Pixie set, whereas you can HoneyBook, I would consider a full CRM. So a customer relationship manager, Pixie set studio is not, I would say not a full CRM. Try something here. So this you can see is the whole, um, they have a little robot that you can do a fake thing through. It's kind of fun. Um, so you can see all of the emails from that project here in the project, um, which is really, really, really nice. And that is the, what sets it apart, I think, from the studio manager. Now you can send contracts, which is really cool. Um, both of these have templates. So you can, um, there's a general photography um, contract. Obviously they have a disclaimer. Um, they have these options you can upgrade to. If we look at the premium features here, premium is $12 a month. That is a really, really entry level price point. Um, I believe HoneyBook is around $50 a month. Um, I don't check me on that. <laughs> That's probably not correct. Um, and then if you have all of the apps, so their website, gallery, um, all of these things, if you have everything on Pixie Set, it's $28, starts at $28 a month, which is, um, again, really incredible pricing um, for an all-in-one. I prefer not to use an all-in-one system. I use Showit for my website. I use um, Flowdesk for marketing emails. I use HoneyBook for my client um, CRM, and I like having that. Um, oh, and I use CloudSpot for my galleries, and I love having it all separated like that because and while all-in-one options are really nice, I feel that separate softwares, you know, they do their job and they do it well. And instead of having one all-in-one option that does everything okay. Um, for me, that's a big deal. But again, that's personal preference. And this may be a really great fit for your business if you really need to simplify and you don't plan to grow your business to this big, massive thing over time. Uh all right, I'd like to go, I'm gonna do more behind the scenes of HoneyBook and features, so I don't wanna go super in depth into this. One thing that Pixie Set does not have at the moment is questionnaires, um, but it's pretty obvious that they're going to be adding them. And let's see, you can have your profile, you can add your, so this is very similar to um, HoneyBook. And I need to get out of this, sorry. Studio Manager, there we go. All right, questionnaires, um, and it says coming soon. So questionnaires aren't quite there yet. HoneyBook um, has questionnaires just under templates. Um, in fact, you can have invoices, contracts, proposals, questionnaires, brochures, etc. cetera. Um, proposals are actually one of my very, very, very favorite things about HoneyBook. Um, it is, I believe, unique to HoneyBook create new proposal. All right. I had this set up as an interior design thing before, so that's why it looks like interior design. Um, so the proposal kind of um, gives you a breakdown of the items that they are purchasing, the grand total, a payment schedule, and a contract all into one file. And then you can email them um, straight from there with that file and it's all in one, which is really, really nice. Um, and that's the other thing that I'm not seeing. So because this does not seem to link to your email, you're not going to be able to create email templates with it. You'll still have to create those in with your email. So with Gmail, you'd create your email templates in Gmail um, or have them you know, written in a note and copy pasted. Um, so you don't have that option either. Um, you can set up a profile and branding and payment and, um, you can accept credit cards, debit cards, and bank transfers via Stripe. Um, my assumption is that that is very similar to HoneyBook because HoneyBook also uses Stripe as a payment processor. Um, so that is, um, the other thing that you don't have on here is a calendar and um, a 
a calendar would be really, really important. There is a calendar with HoneyBook. I'm not going to show you my calendar because it will show all my actual things. Um, but it can connect to your Google calendar, which is really nice, um, so that you don't double book yourself. Um, there's wait, things you can set up so that you don't double book yourself. Um, and I don't see anything like that here. Um, in fact, I don't see anything about scheduling. So that would be um, something to look for. I'm assuming they'll come out with eventually and I will create an updated video as they um, start to roll out some of these new features. But for now, um, they don't have that option. So that is my take on Pixie Set Studio Manager versus HoneyBook. Um, again, I would consider them to be in two different categories and not for the same business. Um, I would consider Dubsado and HoneyBook more of direct competitors um, versus Pixie Set Studio. But there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, and please feel free to comment if you have any questions.